Hey, what is up guys? It is K Boston here today, and today guys, I'm here to record a video with you guys, and today we're gonna talk about some story time. Uh yeah, cool freaking story time. Yeah, guys, but in today's video, we are going to talk about some fish. And uh yeah. So these fish um, well, first we're going to talk about fishing chip and fish at the same time. So here we go, guys. Let's start out by talking about fishing chip. So our fishing chip. So we were on, a, we were in a creek in a private land area. So like the people knew that we were there because they were friends, and we we're not trespassing. I promise you that. So we were there, and uh, there was a whole family. You know, we were just fishing. You know, for fun. We caught about four to five fish. Um, or three to four. I don't really quite remember, but yeah. And uh, so we caught those fish. And uh, they were sunfish, they weren't bass or, you know, big fish. They were pretty, they were pretty small. They were not fish that you could cook up and eat or, you know, cut open, stuff like that. Uh, so we just, you know, we didn't, um, so, also there was, um, what, um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. But as I was saying, um, so we had the fish and uh, we put them in a little cooler, you know, small little cooler with ice and water, etc. Well, actually not ice, but, you know, water. Um, and so we put them in water, we took them home, and we're going to keep them as pets. So we only, we, you know, got a couple, we got like four to five fish. So we only brought home three, you know, three kids, three siblings, you know, I, I'm one, two, three, yeah. So three kids. So we had three fish each, and I don't remember what I named mine, and I don't know what I'm at the others. I don't know about the name, so I'm sorry about that, but as I was saying, uh, so we had the fish, and we were about to go on a trip. Well, actually, before that, um, we were actually um, making the tank um, big enough for them and clean water, food, etc., um, decorations in the tank, etc., about that. Um, and so we were about to go on a trip, and so we let our neighbor, well, yeah, it was our neighbor, have a key to our house, feed the fish, do whatever, you know, all that sort of stuff while we we're, you know, uh, you know, in vacation. So, um, we did that, and it was about, um, probably about a week, a week and a half to our vacation, and, uh, we came back home, we went to Florida, and to the beach, so that was really fun, um, but as I was saying, <laughs> Um, we came back and we saw that the tank was a bit weird because in the water there was like scales. And so we were just like, uh, why are there scales in the tank? And by the way, this was like 10 year old me. So I was like, not knowing and stuff like that. So there were scales in the tank and we had no idea what had happened. So we asked our neighbor and our neighbor said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I fed them. They actually ate. I watched them. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And so we had no idea what, why there were scales in the tank. So we were kind of freaked out, and we were like, "Oh my God, what is going on?" You know that that moment when you're like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh," you know that moment right there. And so ten year old me, I I didn't know. I didn't know what had happened. My parents did not know how to what had happened either so we you know went off like eh, no big deal and so we came back and overnight nothing bad happened the scales are just at the bottom now and there was nothing wrong with the fish um that we could see um so then about uh let's say two to three weeks af uh, after that incident uh we started seeing the fish uh the scales were coming off of them and it looks like they were getting eaten up. So we were wondering what the heck was going on, you know. Um, we searched up on the internet what type of fish, you know, exactly what type of fish they are. There are sunfish, you know, some other name, but I remember there are sunfish. And we named the species, you know, female, female, all that information, you know, important information about the fish. To make sure that they did not carry any diseases or that they didn't have anything wrong with them, etc., etc. So we didn't, wouldn't get, you know you know, affected, whatever, you know, all that, yeah, so, yeah, we did that, and, uh, so, when we did that, um, we didn't find anything suspicious, uh, everything was fine, so we had three fish in the tank, mine, you know, brothers and sisters, and, um, so, yeah, and thing happened, and then, uh, they started becoming raw, like no scales on them, and we started to freak out because we had no idea what was going on because there was no predators or like anything to eat them because we had no pets. It was just fish. That's all pets we had, fish. Um, because, you know, fish are easy to take care of, as I was saying. So, uh, 
So when that happened, um, we were like, oh my gosh, what is going on? And one time me and my brother came home from school and we were just watching the fish swim around, you know, with our fingers, you know, then following our fingers. And then all of a sudden, my fish, I don't remember its name, my fish, you know, I was 10 year old, uh, my fish started to eat on the other fish, like attacking them, like, like when dogs uh, claim for their territory, you know, pee their ter pee on the tree, you know, etc. And when the dogs, you know, fight, you know, play around, that kind of thing. Um, um, like the big dog. Obviously, my fish was called anti quote the big dog. So the fish um, started eating on the other fish, and we told our parents, and they were like. Okay, so we let them alone. We didn't feed them because they were going to die anyways because uh, Kayla, uh, my sister's fish, and my brother's fish was about to die. My fish eventually died because the other fish attacked them as well. And so basically they were eating on each other. And it was really quite disgusting and just weird. And uh, that's just a little story of my, you know, 10-year-old self. And I was like, oh my god, uh... Why is the fish eating each other? You know, cannibalism is bad, etc. And I was just freaked out, honestly. And uh, so, yeah, guys, that's a story, uh, awesome story for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy this quiet little clip of me gameplay and, you know, me talking about my story about how my fish uh, resulted to cannibalism after, you know, yeah, top dog, all that crap. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And, uh, well, not episode, story time. And if you have uh, enjoyed this and you want some more of this, all you gotta do is leave a like and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, guys, if you want my banner, all you gotta do is contact me through my Twitter or just message me on my YouTube, you know, just comment on one of my videos and I'll check that out. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.